this traffic, y'all. All this traffic walking across the street. We are gonna go film another Headlines Barber. Person we filming is Luke. Luke is an amazing barber, but most importantly, he's got an amazing personality. Uh, he's a great addition to the team, and uh, he's been hungry, man. He's been killing it, so. He moved from Texas and he started from scratch. So, here we go, let's go to Headlines. This is where YouTube started for me. This is, this is the shop I was working at when I started my YouTube channel. So it's about, I think like 10 years old, nine years old. All right, guys, this is Luke. This is the, the legend right here. This is uh, Tampa's most critically acclaimed Asian barber. Ever since he's moved here, he's gotten the Asian community has been lit on fire. They don't know what to do with themselves getting all these fresh haircuts. Is this true? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> it's, like a, it's, like a, it's like a little kindling. <laughs> We're getting there. What an introduction. That's my guy, Luke, man. If y'all don't know who Luke is, and you go to any expo, you're gonna know who he is by the end of the expo. I'll see you there, guys. <laughs> All right, so what are we doing, Luke? So he wants to do, you know, like the uh, middle part style. Um, it's like a very popular uh, Asian hairstyle right now. Okay. Um, but he's, you know, his top is short, so he's transitioning from like a comb over into that. So we, you know, he's come to me before, okay. but uh, we're growing it out. So uh, until uh, the top reaches kind of the ears. But for now, we're just doing, uh, you know, Taper, uh, tapering out the side and the back to um, for the hair to mold into the hair stuff. Okay, cool. So you're not taking anything off the top? No. Okay. So you're gonna section the top away? Yeah. Oh. So um, yeah. So this is kind of how most Asian hairstyles kind of happen, I guess. Or most of them have a found have their foundation on what's called a two plop. Um, meaning you just undercut the sides, you section it off, you know, right at the, usually the corner or the recession point, uh -huh. um, straight across uh, onto the, uh, behind the ear point, right where the mastoid is, um, section it off. Where's the mastoid? So right here, the bone, the bone right here. Where it starts to curve. Yeah, like yeah, have the curve into it, yeah, yeah. And so once you have this, start with a taper on this side, just a bit taper, I'm just gonna plant the, yeah, I'm gonna take a shot at your station since, you, since you're just balding them out. Okay. Which ones are you using the most out of the clippers? Man, I mean, so I, I use all three okay. just because, you know, if one gets hot, it, graphites get really hot quickly. I don't, I, I don't know what it is, but yeah. so, you know, this gets really hot, this gets really hot quick, so I switch to this, I switch to this, you know. This one's a little more forgiving, like for kids. Yeah. This one's like my bald line and, um, you know, a kid trimmer and then, that's uh, like my hitters. Uh, this is also, you know, my hitters. And Dope. Appreciate you sharing that. Yes, sir. I think that's a that's gonna be a a staple of these type of videos where we show everybody's setup. I also love these uh, stations. Yeah, you know, the toolbox stations. Yeah, yeah. It enables me to set the mat this way so yeah. that I could just, you know, yeah, instead of having be... to turn around and then good, I could just do this, put it yeah, down. That's... Like that, so. so that right there is helps create efficiency. Right, right. You know I mean, people makes, sleep on that. Yeah, it makes it quicker. And you know, I used to not be able to do like haircuts in 30 minutes or all that. Yeah. You know, do you, do you, is that what you do now? 30 minute haircuts? Yeah, I, I strive for it. Sometimes I go a little, little bit above. And then you know, for haircuts like this, you know, where it's a, you know, it requires a little more detail. Mm -hmm. I'll uh, you know, spend 45 minutes or. But overall, you're able to kind of manage that. Right. Yeah, yeah, manage the, manage the, um, So maybe on some you take 35 or 40 minutes, on another one you might take 25. Yeah, that, kind that's of right, yeah, yeah. Space out clients accordingly. If I know, if I already know that client's gonna take a minute, yeah, you know, section them off as 45 minutes. So good to that, that out really quick. Trying. Okay. I'm trying to okay, be. Okay, Luke. I'm, okay. I'm trying to be on your level, you know. I, I see you, bro. I see you. Was oh. it, this is a number two open. Yeah, yeah, two open. You know. Hey, this is the same system I learned uh, since you taught me this in Austin. That's great. In 2018, I was still in barber school and took your class hands on. I remember class. you took the, the hands on. Hands on. Hands on class yeah, in took Austin. The hands on class. And I, I remember I, I, you know, I got there at 7:30. I left there at 10:30 p.m. And my, yeah. my brain that was, was a about, great class, man. Uh, I mean, yeah, people didn't show up or whatever, right? And yeah. so it was only like just. Two people, I think. Just we, me and the we other had guy. people. I think we had somebody that paid and didn't show up. Yeah, it, I mean that. Yeah, there were some people that didn't show up, and so and I, that's actually kind of common because I've been to a few of uh, Josh O.P.'s classes, uh -huh. and I, I want to say at least two times people have paid for his class and not showed up. Yeah. What are you doing here? Number three open? Or? Yeah, number three open. I'm just kind of uh, going straight up off this. You know, guys, off, it's been like five minutes. Side. He's almost done with this side. 
high expectations by Chris Sets, <laughs> yeah. you know. We're not racing here, though. We try to get, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sir. you're doing the C-Cup now. Yeah, I mean, so right now, I mean, I just kind of try to go through everything, you know, as just, you know, even even the phase, the phase is not perfect, but I just go through it, you know. That's part of the system, man. You come back and detail it, it's going to be the next level. Yeah, and so. you'll, you'll still be able to stay within a, a, a consistent time. That's right. I don't have to do it exactly the same, you know, every time. Were those custom FX's? These are actually Dennis's first FX, custom FX trimmers that he made. Oh, really? So when the custom FX, like trimmers launched, not the clipper. When the yeah. trimmer launched, yeah. like you know, this is when like their whole app like just start, like yeah. came up and whatever. They should have gave you like a certificate. <laughs> I have the oh the number. Like the, yeah, the on the box, like oh, on Dennis's handwriting or whatever. Cool. Yeah, just like and, like I, I was wait I was want, I was like, waiting for the app to launch and like That's there was a, cool. there was a bug and the app launch and then, oh like, yeah that was the experience. The, what was the highest guard you used on the side? Oh, this is three open. Three open was the highest. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I can start the back taper now, guys. <laughs> Done with that initial guideline. How do you decide where you're gonna place that line? Um, usually you use the ear. Um, you know how how far down, like, Give you know, like yeah. There. So it's like you know from here to a lot of the ear is like maybe around two inches or you know an inch and a half ish. Yeah. And you know I'll, I'll be like, eh, like a mid taper. <laughs> yeah. And also I for the back I try not to go so high. You know Asian hair it's like. I don't care if, it, if you have soft hair, I just go with the presumption that this it's gonna stick up. Like it's gonna short. stick up. You know, his hair isn't quite as bad as yours, like right on the ridge. I feel yeah. like I feel like yours sticks out a lot more. Like, yeah, yeah. Let me show you here real quick. You yeah, guys can yeah. see right here, like it, it wants to stick out. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it's been managed, but yeah. yeah, same here, man. I just you know I ain't got no family in here, or, so like I. Oh, there's all kind of public Easter egg hunts you could have went to. Man, that's too much. <laughs> Hey, this is the one day I get to fully rest Sunday. <laughs> so there's a two open again. Yeah. I just, Can you explain your system real quick? Cause we haven't we haven't talked about it. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, I use the uh, ball line trimmer with uh, to set the ball line. Go with the shaver about half an inch underneath it. A blade open a uh, half an inch or to an inch depends, and then one and a half, and then two and a half, and then you know usually three and a half is like as far as I'll go, and okay. I'll just go straight up from there usually. Yeah. That's the biggest thing, you know, is just you get bored of the same system, and then, I don't know. For me, that's when you know I start to like, like ah, oh, is this get a, complacent? Like, am, a I, am, I, am I? Yeah, is barbering for me? I mean, I go, <laughs> I go, I go like oh, far. Extra? I go like far. <laughs> like, is barbering for me? Should I be a bar? <laughs> I try not to be too, too same all the way around, you know. So uh, you had to three open, and you knocked out a lot of that bulk. There's definitely a headline standard, you know. Like I can't. I moved here in August, and you know, I started August second. There's a lot of barbers that move quick, like. You know, when I went to uh, New Tampa, that was a shock. That was a culture shock. I was New like, Tampa was different, right? Okay, I gotta like <laughs> move quick. You know, I, I like I used to like take 45 minutes to an hour and like you know just enjoy the conversations and like. You worked at New Tampa and you got guys doing two, three haircuts. No, nah, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay, I'm trying to catch up to the. You know, the headline standard, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you're killing it, man. Hey, you, I feel like Headlines Barbershop would be one of the fastest barbershops. Well, that, well, that's the culture you built, you know? And it's good that you built up a culture like that. So how come this side is not sectioned off? Again, I just... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, man, I just, you know, I just change it up. Yeah, he said it from the beginning, he switches it up. I just can't. Now he's sectioning it off. Yeah, yeah. So he's not just going to start cutting blindly into that bulk. No, right? no, you don't want... I if you would have cut blindly into that bulk, you would have destroyed the cut, uh, right? This, yeah. You know, he wants to grow as much as he can off the top. Yeah, know? it's going to look good. I want to come back and see once it's grown yeah, how it's going to look. Yeah, yeah, because then I can start styling it. And yeah. Man, cool. man, once you come to Korea, man, it's, or come to Japan and Korea, <laughs> there'll be some hairstyles you'd be like, what the heck is going on here? One open, now it's the half guard. Yeah, open. half, half, halfway. Half half. Yeah. Oh, he's using the half half. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Sometimes I just look again. Man. Hey, all, all the day ones that's ever been to one of my hands on, you still watching these videos, man. You guys know what the half half is. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's you know, it's, a, it, hey, it's your, it's your system, man. I didn't know how to fade one bit. And then four years ago, and then it's crazy how your videos have changed. Like, yeah. It's like, my, or changed my life almost. Like, because well, there was a video that made me decide to drop out of uh, university. And I did? Yeah, I told you that. See, I, yeah, I, I don't know if you remember. You told you at CT, but there was a moment where I watched. I was watching one of your videos, and like you said something along the lines of like, "Oh, hey, barbers, barbering can be a career, like a legit career." And then I was like, "What?" 
Yeah. And then you explain the numbers and, like on a piece of paper. I was like, no way. And look, now you're you're contemplating whether this is you know, <laughs> a career for you or not. <laughs> Man, hey, Chris is doing a lot for my career, for my life. Look at his technique. He's going up and down. He, like that's leaving the length and the shape that he needs there on the ridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if he would just follow, like lay it flat, that squared shape that's there, it'd be gone. Also, so Asian hair, it's very, it's very uh, cosmetic. There's a few things that people look at when they look at their haircut when they, when it's done. When they sound like or Asians. whatever. Yeah, Asians look okay. at example. One thing is like they check for okay, where's the poof in my hair? Poof. Yeah. So like a lot of people don't want their hair to like the long hair to sit on top of a lot of hair and then just sit like this. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like they want it to be slim and you know slender. You know they don't want it to just bunch up. You know what I'm saying? Now, depending on the head shape of the client, I would adjust the uh, the height of the part. I would adjust the angle of the part. I would adjust the. Um, so the part placement is what's important here. Yeah, the part placement is also important. Yeah. Um, just following the head shape. Overall, it's porn. What is this technique for? This is, well, I learned this in Korea, but this is called shingling. Shingling. Uh, this is just uh, so that, you know, if there's any hairs that I miss with the three open, you know, or whatever, mm -hmm. I just go and clear it so it creates a clean angle, clean shape. Always like hair that wants to pop out. Waiting for this to grow all the way down to the ear. But for now. Oh, that's how long it's going to be. Yeah. All the oh, way yeah. down to the ear. And then another thing about the two block is usually, and depending on the style, you can um, adjust like the length where it sits. Some people might want it, you know, sitting over the ear. Some people might want it touching the top of the yeah. ear. Some people might want it half an inch up the ear. Well, and do they explain this or that's just kind of like. No, usually it's it's expected that the client will say, hey, I want my bangs right at the eyebrow, under the eyebrow, right touching the top of the eyebrow, half yeah. an inch off the eyebrow. You know, people, people, I would say, know a lot about what they want. Um, they have certain looks that they want. And I'm so, going to name this tutorial, How to Cut Asian Hair. <laughs> hey, how'd you find me again? That's a good uh, question. Filipino dude. Oh, your friend? Yeah. And a lot of it is like, friend, you know, friends recommend each other yeah. here. And it's I feel like word, word travel fast, too. Yeah. Old client of mine is, that came to me for years mm -hmm. um, that wants to be a barber. What? So, yeah, so Nate's helping him out. That's crazy. You might have some competition. <laughs> Damn. Wait, an Asian guy? Yeah. What? <laughs> Are y'all like that? <laughs> what? You have to go talk to him, bro. Just tell him. Hey, man. Hey, turf, hey, man. This is my turf, man. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. All right, what you got here? Four? Yeah, I'm Four just, open? You know, yeah, sometimes. Um, oh, you skipped the clip over call? I, I don't know. It's, my mind is racing, you know. It's like you, man. <laughs> my mind is racing at 5,000 miles. Honestly, that's what I would have done. I would have just done a number four. Yeah, underneath there with a number three. Three open, yeah. Just to finish it off. And so right now I'm just connecting the top into the... Can you, you kind know, of explain what you're looking for? Into the fade, so, I mean, this is, you know, this is kind of how layering works, right? So when you pull out the hair... That's uh, like your number four where it left yeah, off, Yeah, right? that's, that's a four open, and so yeah. I want it to connect into the long hair right there. Yeah. So I just connect those two points. You guys notice his fingers are going straight up and down? Straight, and That's then, what's creating the layer. Ideally, if this hair was all the way down here and it would connect all the way to his eyebrows, yeah. and then it would blend in the back. In Korean, this would be called Sango Tupulop. Say that three times. Sango Tupulop. Where does the name come from, two block? Two, so each block, block, is, you know, like block. One yeah. block, two block, and the third block of the head. Mm. Right, so it's just like... It should be called three block. Where a lot of barbers that, that are doing these Korean hairstyles miss out on is Okay, this um, is good. Is kind of, is not fully connecting the disconnection into the back. Yeah. So you have to make sure it kind of has that illusion of like, oh, it kind of oozes into the... blends in. Bro, he had the same physique as my dad, bro. <laughs> and now look at him. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. How much did you lose? 45 pounds. So with the thinning shear, I'm kind of um, decreasing the density in the areas where it, it looks really dense. I'm learning something, bro. This is awesome. Oh, Step back. That, that's Dre Station. No wonder they got cobwebs. Dre, man, you got you got come back. <laughs> Luke, are you going to CT? Yeah, of course. Yeah, you'll be there. I'm rooming, rooming with Jordan. Yeah. All right, make sure when y'all see Luke, y'all see Jordan, y'all see any of the crew, y'all say what up. Yeah, I'll be at the booth, guys. This is where you go in and you're detailing, right? Yeah, I'm just using the corners and trying to you're be just like looking for like dark spots. Yeah, and... yeah. I'm just trying to be like Shannon, you know. That's crap. Like Shannon, like yeah, S Craft. Yeah, yeah. Let me show you guys his uh, his setup so you guys can see all the lighting he has. Yeah, all that lighting. These uh, Gillette Platinum. Oh, you, these, that's expensive. These are these are good for full shaves or okay. Like, so you use for thicker hair. Yeah. Uh, this one's two dollars more. Which one you want? Let me get the dollar on. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a specific 
product you're looking for? This is just my clay. Some clay? Okay. Yeah, yeah. This, this is the clay. I used to collect hair products. You were spending some serious money. Yeah, over, I had over 100 products. Damn. From the Netherlands. I had all the Russell products. Didn't you spend like $100 on, on some stuff? Like? Yeah, one, one was like 120 bucks. Hair product tutorials or hair product reviews. Yeah. You go down the rabbit hole of YouTube, yeah. I see this bomb right here. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, can barbers make money? Damn, <laughs> so you was there for to learn how to do your hair. Well, I was there to just see you apply the product. I, mm. I just wanted to see barbers apply a product. And uh, then uh, I kept on watching your videos and I realized, holy cow, I'm spending a lot of time and money on barber tutorials. And I crunch it and then I blow dry in there into the gap that I created. Oh, so two blocks. Yeah, yeah. It's how many blocks are under? So one. Two, three, right? These uh, are the different blocks of that. Well, they call it the, the blocks. Yeah, but a three block would be undercut. Yeah, all three blocks. Well, undercut. I'll, that that'll just be a that bowl cut. That makes sense. That makes more so sense. So that's now. why you do a bowl cut because you don't want a bucket. Yeah. I hope you guys learned. He did it with a taper. I learned a lot. I can't wait to see what it looks like once it's fully grown out. Luke, we appreciate you. Anything you want to say to the peoples? You want to shout out? Anything? Follow me on Instagram at, uh, at the Master Wu. That's the Master Wu. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in the link in the description below too. You got a YouTube channel, no? No. No. no, no All no, right. No. We gotta get Luke on YouTube, man. Gotta get nah. you on YouTube. We've been talking about it with the, I, I with did the it. I did it. In, I did it in high school. I, I had a vlog channel. Come on, man. Uh, we talked about the about the YouTube channel, bringing you client. You know, helping you with search engines. Uh, gotta make that work, man. All right, appreciate y'all. It, Thanks, Luke. Appreciate it. Hey, man. He's on his way out, but we had to show some of the drip real quick. Uh, if y'all ain't know. Please. <laughs> <laughs>